From the Cube Studios in Palo Alto and Boston, connecting with thought leaders all around the world, this is a Cube Conversation. Hi, I'm Stu Miniman, and this is a special Cube Conversation. We've been talking a lot, of course, for many years about the ascendancy of cloud, and today in 2020, multi-cloud is a big piece of the discussion, and we're really happy to help unveil coming out of cell Alkira, uh, which is helping the, the networking uh, challenges when it comes to multi-cloud. And I have the two co-founders, they are brothers. I have Amir, who is the CEO, and Atif, who is the CTO, the Khan brothers. Uh, thank you so much for joining us uh, and uh, congratulations on the launch of the company. Thank you, Stu, for having us on the, on the show. It's a pleasure to see you again. All right, so Amir, we've had you on the program. Uh, your previous uh, company that you've done was of course Vipella. Uh, you, the two of you have worked together at, I believe, five companies, uh, successful companies acquired, uh, you know, the most recent one into Cisco. So, Amir, obviously, you know, you know, strong networking team, uh, your, your brother, the CTO, is going to talk to us about the engineering, but give us, you know, just the, the, the story of Alkira, uh, what you've been building and now ready to unveil to the world. Certainly, Stu. Uh... So in uh, around 2018 timeframe, we started looking into the next big problem to solve in the industry, uh, which was not only a substantial, you know, from the market size perspective, but also uh, from the customer's perspective was solving a major pain point. Uh, so when we started looking into the cloud uh, customers and started talking to our customers, uh, they were struggling uh, in, from the cloud networking perspective, uh, even in a single cloud. And uh, it was a new environment for, for them and uh, they had to understand all the nitty gritty details of each one of these clouds. And when you go to multi-cloud environment, it uh, becomes exponentially complicated uh, to address uh, not only connectivity, but how to deploy services like firewall and other uh, services, including load balancers and uh, IP address management, et cetera, and remote access. So we started digging deeper into this uh, problem and uh, started working with the customers and took a clean sheet of paper and uh, came up with a very comprehensive approach to uh, offering a solution, which is as a service. Uh, this time we are not shipping any hardware or software. It is a, you know, just like any other SaaS application. You just come to our portal, uh, just drag and drop, literally draw out your network and click on provision and uh, you know, come back after uh, 40 minutes or so, your whole global cloud infrastructure is up and running. All right, so uh, Atif, your, your brother laid out a pretty broad vision there. Uh, any of us from the networking world, we know there's a lot of complexity there and therefore it takes a lot of work when I want to do things simply. Uh, as a service is you know, a huge growth area. Bring us inside the engineering challenges uh, that you and the team have been working on uh, to, to build this solution. Certainly, Stu. Um, so we've been uh, working, both Amir and myself, in the networking industry for uh, more than 25 years now. And uh, our, uh, the way we, we have worked and what we have believed in is uh, that uh, uh, we need to solve customer problems. Uh, we never believe in like doing a science project. So uh, here also we started working with customers as we have always done in the past. Uh, we understood the customers' uh, pain points, the challenges they were facing, uh, especially uh, in this case in, uh, in cloud networking space, multi-cloud networking space. Uh, based on the user requirements, uh, users uh, or the customers' use cases, we started uh, building a service. Uh, and here, what we have built is a complete network as a service. It's a multi-cloud network as a service, um, which, uh, not only provides connectivity to multiple clouds, but uh, also addresses uh, the needs for um, uh, bringing in networking services as well as security services, uh, making sure that uh, uh, you have a full policy-based infrastructure uh, on top of it. Uh, you have deep visibility into, into the clouds as well as into uh, on-premise, end-to-end uh, uh, visibility, end-to-end -end monitoring, troubleshooting, and uh, all of it is delivered to you as a service. Uh, so that's uh, what we have been doing here uh, at Healthcare. Excellent. So when we, we look at multi-cloud, of course, you know every cloud 
they have some similar things. They have some different things. They all tend to do things a little bit differently. Uh, you know, one of the secret sauces that have been talked about for the last few years is in the SD WAN space, um, like, like you had built with Vitella to help really enable those environments. So Atif, we've got a diagram here, uh, which I think will help uh, explain a little bit as to you know where Alcure fits, how it plugs into these different environments. Walk us through a little bit what we're seeing here uh, and uh, what, what you're actually uh, doing at Alcura. So here we are building a global unified uh, multi-cloud network. Uh, it's consumed as a service. Um, think of it as uh, uh, consuming it just like you would consume any other uh, SaaS like uh, or SaaS application. So you come to uh, LKS portal, you register, and then there you go, and you start building your uh, global multi-cloud unified network with integrated uh, services. So here what you see is, uh, is uh, uh, LKS uh, cloud services exchange, which comprises of uh, cloud exchange points. Uh, you can bring these up, uh, these cloud exchange points up uh, anywhere on the globe. Uh, you can decide like what networking services, security services, um, uh, you need uh, in these cloud exchange points. You can connect to multiple uh, clouds from there. You can uh, bring your uh, existing on-prem connectivity uh, into these CXPs. Uh, all these CXPs have a full mesh of uh, overlay, high-speed, low-latency connectivity among uh, each other. Uh, so there is a full network which comes up between these uh, CXPs. Um, and uh, uh, this, the whole infrastructure scales uh, with uh, customers as, as our customers scale. So it's a horizontally scalable, very, very highly redundant uh, and resilient uh, infrastructure, uh, which we have built. All right, so Amar, now that we understand the basics of the technology, uh, you've got some strong investors, uh, including Sequoia, uh, Kleiner Perkins. Uh, give us, you know, what is being announced today? You're coming out of stealth. Where are you with the product? Uh, you know how many employees you have, uh, and where are you with the, the discussion of uh, customer adoption? Yeah, so Stu, we are, we are obviously uh, bringing this to the market, uh, and we will be announcing it on April fifteenth. Uh, it's available for the customers to consume our solution as a service uh, on that day. Uh, so they are welcome to reach out to us, and we'll be happy to help them. And uh, as a matter of fact, just come to our website and register uh, for the service. And uh, yeah, I mean, you rightly said that we have a, a superstar team of uh, not only the venture capital companies, but also the board members uh, representing those companies. So Bill Coffrin and uh, Mamoon Hamid, right, uh, who are the leading uh, VCs are on the board uh, of our company, including myself and Atif. All right, Amar, I'd love to actually bring up the second slide that we have here. Uh, walk us through, you said, uh, you know, the service, you know, how do people get started? How do they understand, you know, what, walk us through uh, what, what they yeah. do. So the biggest challenge uh, when we started looking into these problems, uh, you know, uh, Stu was that it was very complicated. You had to piecemeal, bring up instances in the cloud and stitch them together and when you try to integrate the services, that was a de different uh, challenge for the customers, right? So we wanted to make sure that it was so simple and clean that the customer didn't even have to think about any underlying construct on any of the clouds. They should not have to worry about learning uh, each individual cloud from the you know, networking perspective. So here's your portal. You just come, you know, step one is come to our portal, register, Step two is you start drawing your uh, network based on your intent, what on-prem connectivity you want to bring into this service, what type of services you need, like Palo Alto firewalls, uh, and then uh, you know what clouds you need to connect, and everything happens seamlessly. So from on-prem uh, prem through services into the cloud uh, and across multiple clouds, it's a seamless uh, service that we have created and with full analytics capabilities and full governance uh, built in. All right, so to bring us into what this means for, for customers. You know, how do they manage it? You know, is this the networking team? Is it the cloud architects? Um, you know, what APIs are there? How does this fit into kind of what customers are doing today? Um, and, you know, solve some of those challenges that we laid out earlier in the discussion. Yes, uh, from a, uh, from the customer's perspective, it's uh, as I said, it's it's completely delivered as a service. 
uh, customers come to our uh, our portal. They they draw out the network. They uh, select the services. They click on provision, and the whole network uh, comes up uh, within minutes. So the main thing here is that uh, from a customer's point of view, if they are connecting uh, to different clouds, they don't need to understand any of the underlying specifics or underlying constructs of any of the of the cloud uh, in order to uh, uh, bring connect, uh, bring up connectivity. Um, so we what we are doing here is we are abstracting uh, the cloud here. So we, we are building a virtual cloud network. So if you if you think of uh, if you compare it with what we uh, did in the in the previous life, uh, we uh, virtualized the WAN. So here what we are doing is we are, we are virtualizing the cloud network. So underlying doesn't matter which cloud you sit on, which cloud you need to connect to. Uh, which networking services, uh, whether cloud native services or whether you you want to consume Alkira services, or we also support like uh, customer bringing in third party services as well. So it's all uh, all uh, offered from our uh, uh, platform, all offered as a service for, uh, to the customer. Uh, again, no expertise required in uh, any of the underlying networking uh, uh, constructs of uh, any of these clouds. Give us what we should be looking at uh, from a technology roadmap from Alkira through the rest of 2020. Uh, good question, uh, Stu. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, our roadmap is dictated by customer requirements. So we prioritize uh, what uh, uh, customers uh, uh, need uh, from us. So we have come out with a scalable platform. We have come out with a marketplace uh, uh, for uh, networking services uh, in there. Uh, in the near term, we'll be expanding our marketplace uh, with more services. Uh, we will be addressing more use cases. And when I talk about use cases, I can give you some examples. Uh, like there's a, a you 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 uh, not just only need the uh, connectivity into cloud. Um, you might have different requirements from uh, uh, from throughput perspective or bandwidth perspective or uh, different services that you need to front end. Uh, 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 your uh, uh, cloud with. Uh, you may have uh, certain applications such as uh, internet facing applications where you need like uh, traffic coming in from the internet uh, inbound to those applications. You might need uh, services like a load balancer, uh, like an external load balancer uh, uh, in our uh, services exchange. Uh, you might also need like a firewall. You might need traffic engineering uh, or sorry, um, uh, service chaining uh, capabilities where you chain uh, service through multiple uh, or traffic through multiple of these services like a firewall and a load balancer. So uh, we have built a, a platform which uh, gives you all those capabilities. Going forward, we'll, we will be adding more services, more use cases uh, to it. Uh, we have uh, a long ways ahead of us uh, uh, and uh, 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 we we will be uh, putting all our effort uh, in delivering uh, our roadmap uh, as uh, we go. All right. So Amar, your technical team definitely uh, has their hands full and uh, you know robust roadmap to work on. Uh, give us the the, the high level uh, what we should be looking for Alkira uh, right. for for people that are out there. You know, multi cloud and networking. You know, tends to get talked a lot. There's uh, many big companies and some small ones. What what will separate Alkira uh, from the rest of the market today, and what should we be looking to to yeah. see the the company's progression through 2020? Yeah, thanks for asking that. Um, yeah, certainly. I mean, you know, from the solution perspective, Atif said that you know it's so fundamentally important to have a very strong basis, right? And that's what we have done. We are uh, bringing out a certain number of services, and now we will continue to grow on that. We'll create a big marketplace. Uh, we will continue to improve on which clouds we connect to and how, and uh, we will be building our own services in certain cases as well. Now, building a technology is just one piece of it. We have to go out to market with a company that the customers can trust every single you know, the department in that company, whether it's uh, sales or how they do business with us, all the business backend pieces have to be sorted out. And that's what we've been working with. And, uh, you know, then go to market partners. That is very, very important, right? Support is very important. So let me spend a little bit of time on go to market uh, strategy. Um, we have been working with the service providers so that uh, we can extend our reach not only to the large uh, customers, but also to mid-sized customers across the globe. 
So you will see uh, us in the future announcing major service provider partnerships, as well as we've been working with large uh, SIs, uh, WARS, and uh, system integration uh, you know, partners. And also we are taking a slightly different approach this time because it's a service. So we are going with telecom master agents, which have been you know, working with uh, the service providers, the cloud providers, the cable providers uh, as a channel. And they have a huge reach into the customer base. So we, we have a very comprehensive strategy, not only from the go-to-market perspective and the technology perspective, but also how we are going to support our customers and continue to build our relationship to build a lasting company. Yeah, Amr, um, super important point there. Absolutely, we've seen the maturation and change in the service providers as uh, today they are working with many of the public cloud providers and they're, as you said, a, a close touch point and a trusted partner uh, for customers. All right, yeah. so before I let you go, you know, you two are brothers, uh, everybody in today's day and age is spending even more time with family, but you know, your, your situation, you've worked together uh, for, for a long time. What, what keeps bringing the two of you uh, together, uh, uh, working together, and, and, and talk, talk about that bond. So, I mean, we are a very close-knit family. Mm -hmm. uh, we have four brothers and one sister, and uh, obviously Atif and I have been the closest because we have been working together for the longest. We've at least worked in five different companies together. Our families travel together. We have three daughters each. Uh, we live about five minutes, uh, you know, walk from each other. And uh, we, you know, just have this bond where we, not only have uh, you know uh, the family close, but also very close knit uh, friends uh, circle, uh, which we both hang out uh, with, and we you know obviously have common interest in the sports as well. Uh, we play squash and tennis and work out. So Atif, uh, <laughs> you want to take a stab at it also? Yeah, so we've 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 always been very close. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, we've we've been uh, together for the last like. Uh, Ever since I can remember, like even even college uh, days, uh, uh, he was uh, 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 we were roommates for for some time. Also, uh, we have a we have a like our circle of friends is 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 the same. Also, so um, again, we are we are very close, uh, and we work uh, well together. So we complement uh, each other's uh, skills, yeah. uh, and um, and it's it's worked out in the past. Uh, hopefully, it will work out again. <laughs> and uh, I look forward to working with them uh, for many, many more years to come. Yeah. All right. Well, Amar and Atif, thank you so much for sharing uh, the, the, the coming out of stealth uh, for Alkira. We definitely look forward to uh, watching your progress and uh, you know, seeing how you're helping customers uh, in this multi-cloud world. Thank you for joining us. Dude, thank you so much. Thank you for having us. All right, uh, I'm Stu Miniman, and thank you so much for watching this special CUBE conversation on theCUBE.